This video is for licensed and trained HVAC technicians only. Do not attempt any of these procedures on your own. Call the professionals. All right, guys. Uh, last couple of days, I've had a couple questions, and I figured then some of these are, you know, it's really hard to kind of answer in an email. I mean, I could, but it'd just take forever to type it out. So I figured I'd just shoot a video and basically just show you, I guess. Uh, one of the questions was, is how to determine if the uh, compressor valves are bad. All right. There's a couple different tests that you can do to check them. And let's kind of go over that real quick. Back out here at my air conditioner again. Uh, if you hook up your gauges and you note your pressures, if your high side is normal, your subcooling and everything is normal, bad, bad uh, pressure valves, you're going to notice that this pressure, suction pressure is going to be higher and you're going to have a higher superheat. So this would be like this would be like it is right now 370 this may show 160 180 or something and my superheat may be 25 or something so if you get to a unit you notice high size normal low size high that's usually a sign of low capacity all right and that's normally the valves in your compressor now there are a few ways you can check real quick and see if they are the valves let me show you how to do that this is my compressor here. Alright, it is a reciprocating compressor. It is a two stage reciprocating compression. The one thing you can do over here, this is my suction line going into the compressor. If you put your hand on that and you hold it right next to the compressor, right here, and you shut the unit off, if you feel any heat. If the unit shuts off, it should say cold. If you feel any heat coming here, that's telling me that hot gas is bypassing the valve and it's feeding back into here. Uh, it's not the most accurate test, but it is a test that you can do. So just kind of fill it right here and uh, fill any hot gas. That's one way to tell if you've got uh, bad valves. Another way to check out for bad valves is do a pump down test. Right, what we're going to do here is we're going to shut off the high side. We're going to let the suction pressure get down to about 10, 12 pounds or so. Then we're going to kill the power. All right. After you kill the power, the pressure shuts off. The, the pressures are going to go up. It's going to go up pretty slow. So if it goes up more than about 12 pounds in a minute or so, uh, you know you've got a leak there. So when you shut it off, this number shouldn't jump up real fast. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and pump down the unit. I'm going to wait for the suction pressure to drop. See, once it hits about 12 pounds or so. We'll go ahead and pull. You don't want to run any compressor in a vacuum. It's not good at all. When you're doing the fill test on the line sets, uh, something else that I need to talk about is unless you've got a door that you can take off and access the furnace or air, a compressor, uh, that's about the only time you want to do that. Don't take the tops off of air conditioners. Uh, reach down in there and reach for the compressor because the fan comes on it's going to chop your arm off or something. So only gain access to your compressor if there's a door, a compressor door that you can take off like a rod or ream, uh, these carriers. Uh, there's a few other ones out there you can access the compressor on. Alright, so we're down to about 12. And we're just going to kind of sit there and watch it. And it's going to go up, but it's not going to go up real fast. This is about the rate you should be seeing. If it jumps up really quick, you know you've got, you know you've got a bypass. So that's really all there is to it. All right, so this has been off close to a minute now. All right, and you see how much it's raised. It's not a whole lot. Like I said, more than 12 pounds, 15 pounds or so in a minute. You know it's not good. So we're gonna go ahead and open this back up. And 
that's pretty much how you test that. Alright, so this is what I, as far as filling for the line sets, we're not going to take this top off. This fan's mounted to the top. Take that off, have it sitting over sitting over here somewhere. And you stick your hand down in to fill that line set, that fan's going to come on. It's going to do some major damage. Only do that if you have a door that you can access a compressor to. And use a little bit of common sense. If you take that door off, that compressor is about three inches from that fan. Don't stick your hand in there. Uh, just be really safe. That is like, usually on this this unit here, I'll do it on. And then Rudd and Reams, I'll do it on. Uh, everything else, I'm doing pump down tests. And I don't do a whole lot of these pump down tests anyways. I don't find a whole lot of bad valves. Uh, but just use a little bit of common sense here, guys.